It's by election day here in Korea, and just two hours remain before polling stations close. And uh, elections are being held in four districts one in Seoul, one in Gyeonggi-do province, one in Incheon, and one in the southwestern city of Gwangju. Let's connect to our Ji Myung-gil at the National Assembly for more. Myung-gil. Good evening, Daniel. Voter turnout was 29.7 percent as of 5 p.m. And as you mentioned, polling stations will close at 8 p.m. to give more voters a chance to cast their ballots before and after work. The results will, st the results will start filtering in around 10 p.m. According to the National Election Commission, more than 700,000 people are eligible to vote in the four districts. Currently, voter turnout is the highest in Gwangju's Seogubi district, followed by Kanghwabi district in Incheon, Gwanakbi district in Seoul, and Jungwon district in Seongnam, Gyeonggi-do province. There was a two-day early voting period last Friday and Saturday, and the voter turnout for that was 7.6 percent, which was slightly lower than for the previous by-elections last July. Well, Myung-gil, relatively, do you know which party has an advantage in which uh, district? Well, Daniel, it's really hard to predict at this moment, but two strong independent count candidates who used to be members of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party are running in the districts of Seoul's Kwanak B and Gwangju's uh, Seogu B districts. These two districts are traditionally left leaning constituencies. Rival party candidates are neck and neck in Kangha B in Incheon and Chungwon in Seongnam, Gyeonggi-do province. Both the ruling Senri Party and the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party are hoping to win at least two of the four districts, although ceding all four seats to the opposition bloc would not weaken the ruling party's 157 strong parliamentary majority. Well, the two parties want to grab at least two seats each, and they want to do well here very desperately because also it comes at the back of uh, uh, the big scandal that's going on. But do tell us more about the significance of this event. That's right, Daniel. The by-election is very important for both parties, but for different reasons. Observers say today's vote is a testbed for public sentiment, as the nation has been gripped by a snowballing bribery scandal allegedly involving President Park's aides and some ruling party lawmakers. On top of that, the general election will be held around this time next year, so that's in the back of the party's minds as well. These by-elections are also garnering extra attention as they are the first elections that pit the ruling Henry Party's chairman Kim Moon-sung against MPD chairman Moon Jae-in. Many are saying that this is a key test of their leadership, but it could also gauge the capacity as potential presidential candidates in 2017. Moon, of course, ran and lost against President Park Geun-hye in 2012. I'm Jim Young-gil reporting live from the National Assembly in Seoul.